This is a fantastic event that happens every year. It's been happening every year for 46 years. And one of the things that's so great about this festival is it brings all of the different cultural groups together that exist in the community. For the Thunder Bay Multicultural Association to have the support of the community, to have them continue to come out in droves, over seven to 10,000 people per year, even on a slow year, um, it's been wonderful. 46 years ago in Thunder Bay, there wasn't an opportunity really through restaurants to try out multicultural food. So this has been always something for me that's been really special, to be able to taste the foods of the world. But I'll I also love the dance because the dance obviously introduces us to the music and the movement of an entirely different culture. There's about a thousand plus volunteers at this festival right now. Any newcomer can volunteer. We have tons of newcomer volunteering in my area, the children area. And then we also have tons of newcomer volunteering in the entertainment area. We have them in the event patrol area, the site location. They're everywhere pretty much. So they can volunteer anywhere they want. The community waits for it. You know, we hear people calling the office and we hear people asking, Folklore May, you know, the first weekend of May, it's coming. So they know what the weekend is. It's always been the same and it's been um, a, a real um, stalwart, a staple of our community for so many years. So all of the food booth vendors know, you know, they book for the next year, tomorrow, you know, the day after. I'm proud to go out and basically show people what Aboriginal foods are and what we use Bannock for. Bannock is, a, is an Aboriginal bread and it is just a simple bread that we, we have as our staple. It's a staple and we just basically, we grew up on it and now we're out showing people what we ate. There's so many cultures and anybody can come and watch and they can see what it's like, what everybody from a different culture does and how they feel about stuff and what they do, their food, their dances, all sorts of stuff like that and it's really neat. We absolutely adore coming to this festival every year. Um, we love enjoying the different cultures. We love coming and sharing our culture with Thunder Bay and beyond whoever comes to Thunder Bay to be at this festival. My hometown called Dalian, China. I uh, used to call Port Arthur, China. See? Port Arthur, China to Port Arthur. Thunder Bay. Thunder Bay. So I came here, I just, I enjoy it. I just uh, work and then people help me. So we need the world to know more about this beautiful place. People look at the dress and go, wow, I had a little girl come over to me early. She said, you look beautiful. And like there's a lot of, because it's stunning, right? Like it's bright and colorful and everything, like there's a lot of movement. So it's, it's really exciting to see. What I like about it is that lots of nice teachers and it's pretty fun dancing in front of lots of people. We really believe when people come, they tend to love this area. They find commonality, they find diversity, they find their cultures represented in Thunder Bay. So we're really hopeful we'll be successful in that. And as I said, for the economic reasons as well, like small town Canada generally is struggling with depopulation. Our large urban centers are getting larger and all of us really need to be as successful as we can in, in attracting new immigrants to our community. You know, one of the things I think people are looking for when they are choosing a community to live in is not just a job, but it's also the sense of community, the sense that they have friends and colleagues that they'll be able to socialize with, that they'll have a park or a facility to bring their child to where their child will be able to fit in and make friends. And I think that's one of the biggest changes I've seen in Thunder Bay is this openness and new uh, to, to new people and to new ideas. And so I want to see Thunder Bay continue that growth and to continue to bring people from all corners of the world that will help us thrive as a region. For example, many immigrations, why they don't move to here? Because we didn't give the information, we didn't encourage. I hope I can be the role model for many people. Start here, from ground zero, you can do it. No matter something about people say cold, uh, far away, give me a break. The sky is no limit.